Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details, and I'm back. It's been a minute since I was able to do a video. We actually just got back from about a four or five day vacation in Pittsburgh. We drove all over the place. We had an absolute blast. We were able to go see downtown Pittsburgh. We were able to spend a lot of time with family, go to the zoo and aquarium. We even went to Ahau Pal. We were able to do some awesome uh, just adventures out there with the waterfall, the water slides. And then we ended up at some family that I have a little bit further west of Pittsburgh and we're able to spend some quality time with them. And my vehicle, which if many of you have followed the channel, I have the Ethos graphene coating on this vehicle. Many of you have been asking for an update, so uh, I'm going to actually do a quick wash on it. This thing has been through a lot the last four or five days. We put a lot of miles on it. It rained absolutely every single day that we were out there, and I want to share with you guys, um, one, an update on my Ethos coating, and two, an update on how to maintain a coated vehicle, some of the benefits of having a coated vehicle, and how it can make your life a little bit easier. So let's wash my vehicle together. So, so as you can see, we hit a lot of bugs <laughs> on the way out and on the way back. And as we were driving around, we hit a lot of rain. Tires and wheels need a really good cleaning. Our wheels especially have a lot of film on them, but when it comes to the paint, the vehicle actually looks from a distance pretty clean. The only thing that you're gonna really notice, we hit a lot of rain on the drive back, is kind of this road splatter or road film on the lower panels, and that's very typical for any vehicle that has protection on it, even a coated vehicle. A lot of times what I tell my customers when they have a coated vehicle, that's going to be really the bulk of the dirt that you're going to see on your vehicle, especially if you drive through the rain. You can see majority of the water and rain just kind of blows right off. It's fun to see. It's very satisfying to see. When you have bug splatter, things like this, it's going to blast off majority of the time with just high pressure water alone, so you don't have to come in and scrub and be aggressive on the paint. Even this road film and, and uh, splatter here, you're going to be able to blast a majority of that off with high pressure water. I always recommend to customers especially if you have a coated vehicle, a high pressure water, pressure washer, of some sort is going to be better for maintaining the vehicle than just a standard hose. A standard hose will get it, but not to the extent that you're going to really be able to benefit from the properties of the ceramic coating. But we've got a lot of bug splatter that we've got to remove. When it comes to the protection that's on this vehicle, again, we have Ethos Graphene Coating, the original version. I have Cerakote Trim Restore. This is about two years old. They claim up to 200 washes. And I'll be honest with you, there's 52 weeks in a year, and I wash my vehicle about once a week, if not every other week, and we're about two, two and a half years in on this. I'm going to have to go back and look at the exact date, but we're just starting the last couple months to start see this flaking of the Cerakote trim, and a way that we're going to remove this is actually nail polish remover. We're going to remove this and reapply a new product to test out the lithium graphene cubes. So we're going to be doing some updates on that, but I've been really happy with how this performed, but it's now getting to a state that we need to remove it and reapply a new trim coating. So we're going to do that to all of our trim. The lower trim, I'm not having that. This was a funky, like weird surface, and it did a really good job with protecting it. But this is really the only area on the vehicle that I'm noticing where it's kind of flaking off these parts right here. It still has a nice trim restore. I think right here we might have some rock chips or bugs that kind of have nicked it off. But it actually did add a layer of thickness to the trim and for the most part has held up really well. But we're just going to go ahead, reapply a new coating. The graphene coating by itself has done a phenomenal job. It's made maintenance so much easier for me. I can wash my vehicle in about 20 minutes from start to finish. Uh, the only issue that I've noticed is this back trunk area, uh, about two, two and a half years, uh, we've had this on here and it's starting to fail. This is an up to five year durability. I have maintained it properly doing either a, a rinseless wash every week or a contact wash using ceramic friendly soaps. I have gone through the automatic car wash, the non-touch, maybe two or three times a year, not frequently. Uh, I do, you know, sometimes we'll go through if it's just a little bit more convenient, but I'm always using a ceramic drying aid. So it has been exposed to some harsher soaps periodically, but not consistently. And I've always kind of replenished it with a ceramic drying aid. But I've noticed that this back trunk area is pretty much gone. And for some reason, we've got actually like a different color going on. It's kind of faded back here versus the rest of the vehicle. I don't know if that's a Subaru issue 
or if it's just actually starting to kind of dull the paint because we don't have much UV protection going on back here. But when I wash it, this section is pretty flat. So we're going to actually be stripping everything off as soon as I have a moment to myself. Been extremely busy with a new position with Cars Plays Warehouse. As their affiliate manager and also between being a mom, a wife, having my own business, doing the YouTube channel, it's hard to find time. That's why I'm kind of carving out time in between. I have to detail that vehicle coming up. That's going to be a video later on because we're actually removing that coating and reapplying a new coating. So stay tuned for that video. But I'm going to be making this vehicle a test vehicle. So if there's certain coatings that you guys would like to see on this vehicle, drop it in the comment section down below. I will be trying out the Ethos 2.0 graphene coating as well as the McKees 37, their graphene coating, the Phoenix EOD Kronos coating. And if there's other ones that you guys would like to see, real world durability tests as I drive around town and just kind of maintain it the typical way that most people are going to maintain their vehicle, put that in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys subscribe and like as well to stay tuned for when that video drops. Hopefully I'm going to have some free time coming up in September once school starts. But all in all, been really, really happy with the graphene coating. Very impressed. I've had no issues that I could tell with water spotting issues. I've noticed very little swirls and scratches on this paint. And Subaru paint is actually pretty soft. I've had previous coatings on here that they were awful when it came to water spotting issues that I had to almost compound them off. I've had no issues with this, so very happy with that. For those of you that say graphene is fake, that it doesn't help reduce the risk of water spots, that it doesn't give you extra scratch resistance, I would argue that because I've seen it on my own vehicle two and a half years in, not many issues with water spotting issues, and I actually have very few swirls and scratches on this vehicle. With as many times as I've washed it and dried it, my kids closing the doors and it might be a little dirty or dusty that it could potentially scratch it, the vehicle actually, the, the paint is in pretty good condition for being a 2014 and been washed as frequently as he has and is just as going around town being a mom with kids it looks fantastic so we're going to go ahead do our standard wash i'm going to go into time lapse we're going to show you some close-ups of how quickly the bugs can be blasted off as well as the road film i'm going to share with you guys products that i would recommend to maintain your ceramic coating with it's just going to make it easier and safer for you so let's go ahead and get at my setup i'm using a ryobi 1900 psi pressure washer i have the link to my entire setup down below for those of you that are looking for recommendations very affordable but it's just going to work really great we've got our tire and wheel bucket ready to go we're going to put our soap in that in a moment, and then we have our dedicated wash bucket. We have a grit guard at the bottom that's going to help trap any sort of dirt and keep it down to the bottom, less risk of swirls and scratches. We've got my microfiber wash mitt. I always recommend microfiber versus sponge or anything else. That's just going to help reduce the risk of swirls and scratches. It's very gentle on the paint, holds a lot of soap, which is going to give you extra lubrication. It's going to help pull the dirt into the noodles of the microfiber. So some sort of microfiber wash mitt is always going to be the safest bet for washing a ceramic coated vehicle or any vehicle really. When it comes to soaps, here's a couple that we could try out. The one that I sell here at my shop for customers to maintain coatings with is the Apex Auto Wash from Phoenix EOD. High lubricating, no frills, no soaps, no additives. It's just going to do a fantastic job of gently cleaning the vehicle and just keeping a true state of what's going on. If you're looking for a ceramic infused soap, uh, especially with the Ethos graphene coating, this is a fantastic soap. It's actually going to add a slight layer of hydrophobics as it is a SiO2 infused maintenance shampoo. I love working with this one. And if you're looking for kind of a chemical decon wash in one, this is a fantastic product from Gion. This is their restart wash. This is actually a decontamination shampoo. I recommend that you do this every few months. Uh, it doesn't have the best smell, but it's going to help uh, just kind of do a really good cleaning and boost the coating that's on your vehicle. So we're actually going to use this today for our wash for the vehicle versus any of these, but these are two great options to maintain your ceramic coated vehicle with. I will have the links for them down below as well as the Gion restart wash, but this is a great product to have on hand just to do a good maintenance wash on your vehicle every few months. But if you're looking to maintain your vehicle, these are two great options to consider. So let's go ahead and get our wash. And here's a quick tip to help prevent water spots. First start off with your tires and wheels, get those out of the way. And also try to wash your vehicle early in the morning or later in the afternoon when you have sun. That's gonna really help cut down on the risk of water spotting issues.
And just like that, the bugs are gone. I didn't even have to touch it and they're blasted off. So now when I come in to wash, it's gonna be easy. If we were to let that air dry, all of the dirt staining would be gone. There might be a light layer of film, but we would have blasted all of that dirt, which is microscopic little layers of, of rock, which can scratch. We would have blasted all that off. Now that's all that's left behind is a light layer of film. It's gonna be a lot safer for our wash method. But I want you to take note to the hydrophobics. Two years, properly maintained. We haven't let a lot of that road film sit on there for too long. Our side panel hydrophobics look. The high pressure rinse is the most important step when it comes to washing your vehicle because that's where you're going to get a majority of the dirt off of the vehicle to give you a safer wash method. And when you have a coated vehicle, it makes it a breeze. We're going to use about four or five squirts of our restart wash. You don't need a lot. It's a nice thick soap, gives you nice lubricity, thick foaming soap. And then when we come in to wash our vehicle, we're using one mitt, but if you're super paranoid about swirls and scratches, you can actually add five to ten mitts in your bucket, but personally I find that a little overkill. But what I'll do is one mitt, there's two sides to that one mitt, and what I'll do is wash one panel with one side, flip to the other side with the other side of my microfiber, agitate it in my bucket with my grit guard, and just work my way two panels at a time around the vehicle, and that's going to be able to help you quickly get around the vehicle. Like I said, 20 minutes start to finish, I can wash my entire vehicle. Alright, we're starting to battle the sun, so we got to move fast so we don't have water problems. And that's really the largest section, and it's a small section. But that's really the only areas that I'm seeing where it's starting to fail. But that's just the hydrophobic layer. That doesn't necessarily mean the coating is failing. The hydrophobics are just starting to taper off. You can't always equate hydrophobics failing as a sign that the coating is failing, because the hydrophobics are always going to be the first to kind of fall off. But that doesn't mean that the coating is gone. I waste so much water just playing with this. Now that it's washed, you can use something like this as a drying aid while the vehicle is still wet. Come in, spray this, use your drying towel, and you can boost the coating as well as aid in drying, give you a safer drying method. But this is a product that I actually love here. This gives me fantastic value. It's very affordable, streak-free results. My customers love that this is a product that I sell here at my shop for my customers. Again, all of the products that we're going to be sharing with you in this video, the links are down below for those of you, but this is a stellar product. For those of you that are looking for a ceramic drying aid, this is fantastic by itself. If you were to dry the vehicle and then apply this on a dry vehicle, you'd get four to six months protection. Using it as a drying aid, you're probably going to get one to two months, but it's so easy, so quick, gives such fantastic end results, slick paint, streak-free results. I use this every single time I wash my vehicles. So we're going to go ahead and get her dry. So it goes without saying, but we're using a microfiber drying towel. I'll put a link to some of my favorite ones down below, but we're not using a ShamWow, a beach towel, a squeegee. You want something plush, forgiving, and absorbent. It's going to just be a lot safer on your paint. As far as how much you need, a little goes a long way. About two squirts per panel is really all you need. You don't need to go heavy. If you notice you have streaking, it's either one of two things, a dirty towel 
or you're using too much product. So in a market that is completely saturated with products, these are just a few that I would recommend if you're looking to maintain a graphene or ceramic coating. Obviously, if you're using an ethos coating, you want to use the manufacturer's recommended products. It's just going to pair really well chemically. It's going to be very synergistic. Um, but you can use other products that are on the market to maintain. I like the Apex Auto Wash, the Titan Hybrid Detailer to wash and also replenish the hydrophobics, keep it looking fantastic. And then if you're looking to maintain a coating, these are two great products to have in your arsenal, the Gion Restart Wash and then an acid-free formula water spot remover. Because the number one issue with ceramic coatings is gonna be the tendency to have water spots, it's good to have a maintenance product like this. It's acid-free, it's not gonna weaken your protection, but it's gonna help remove any sort of mineral deposits that could accumulate and potentially clog your coating. So if you have a coating on your vehicle, these are two products that I would recommend picking up to maintain it to keep the hydrophobics top notch. I'm gonna put the links for them Here's down below. Here's the finished result after we did our maintenance wash from start to finish. It took about 20 minutes for me to just do a quick maintenance wash, but it looks like I spent hours detailing and deep cleaning the vehicle. We have tires and wheels. All I really got to do at this point is put a tire dressing on. I have been maintaining it with the McKees 37, their graphene tire shine, and I have to say it actually adds a really nice hydrophobic layer to the tire. And in between washes, I don't have to dress it as frequently, but I haven't dressed it in probably about two months, so it's time to reapply a new dressing. But our paint looks fantastic. The trim still has a nice black appearance to it. We don't have any sort of zebra effects going on. All in all, really happy with how both products have been performing from our Ethos Graphene Coating, our Cerakote Trim Restore, it is time to do a refresh, so again, make sure you guys comment down below with the products that you would like to see on this. We're going to start purchasing those products, have them in stock, and then we will show you guys that video and the updates Glad on Glad to be products. back after having a few days off, but we're going to get right into it with details, so make sure you guys stay tuned for future videos that we have coming out, but we'll see you guys in the very next detail. Have a great day.